Uh, environmental insta kills. I don't think so. I don't think that's it. Yeah, chivalry. Wait, no. No, chivalry's not like it. Mordau. Mordau's like chivalry, yeah. I agree with that. Could have gone for that, but I think I might be able to get it here. Yeah. Medium. So it would have been the same. Got you. Don't care about that. Try and flashlight, man. I'm impressive if you did. I don't know what you do with that anymore. Before you just looked up, but I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> oh. Hmm, no trap, I like that. Hmm. Think it'd be the range. Remember, you've got the percentages, by the way. Gen two uh, hooks, if you want. Expiration mark, uh, one gen. Expiration mark, one hook, etc., etc. Get an idea of what percentage we're on. To an extent, you know, it's not specific. It's not exactly the percentage. It's a percentage. You know, it, it's uh, an estimate. But it's a good estimate, I think. But I'd be quick enough to do that, I guess, now. Mm. She dead hearted um, into Borrowed, which I knew she was going to try. But I didn't think she'd have enough time because pretty sure she was still in Unhook animation, but I guess not because. Uh, <laughs> She got borrowed off. You're not the one, are you? <laughs> what the percentage you stand for? It's basically looking at how much of the objective complete I have compared to what they have. So it gives you an idea of like how close we both are. So like if I'm on five hooks and they're on one gen. What percentage uh, have they done? What percentage have I done? Kind of thing. It gives you an idea of how quick the percentages go up and how much you have to do for each percentage. It's basically how my brain works when I'm thinking about DVD, so you, you at least get to see kind of how I'm thinking. But you can actually play with it, right? I think it's kind of interesting. It's giving you a glimpse into kind of how I see the game. Oh, no, there she is. Mm-hmm. 
said, I don't think hags that crazy difficult. I think you put traps around certain pressure points and then you kind of hope that they push towards them. She's the one we borrowed. She's just running at people, I think. Oh, you can't do it again. There you go. Oh, I'm a reading chest to perform better than you. 5,000 hours, man. But it isn't just 5,000 hours. I'm also really, really competitive. Like, any game, you know? He's going to change a lot of the percentages. I'm telling you that right now. It's possible to wiggle out, it isn't. It really isn't. And it should be difficult to wiggle out. There was someone in chat earlier saying, um, Can I get this? When's I do this? Too slow. Too slow to kill him. There was someone in chat earlier. <clears throat> if I put one here and I put one here, <clears throat> she should be completely trapped. Unless she ran away, obviously. Right away. I should run into traps though. Um, I, I, someone said earlier, um, you should be able to wiggle out, you know. And I was saying like how bad of an idea that would be, because not only the killer has to get you, etc., etc., you have a chance of wiggling out as well. Like I, I put a scenario, so just, just listen to the scenario, right? Um. You've chased someone, uh, you've downed them, you know, in a good amount of time, but it took you a while to find them. Right? So you wasted probably about 30 seconds trying to find them. And you finally downed them in like 20 seconds. It weren't too bad. Uh, you're like, okay, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, not too bad. All right, start. Um, you grab them. You start walking to a hook. Um, you notice that you probably, well, you might not make it or whatever. You're still hoping, you're still hoping. You get really close. Oh, wiggle out. You're stunned. You see them walking away. Bing, bing, bing. Three gens are done. Do you really want to continue to play that? That sounds really frustrating. That sounds like really frustrating to play. So there you go. That's the scenario I put out there. Uh, regarding if you really want that to be a, a reality. You have dead art, I remember. Yep. Like, I'd continue to play because I do. I champion on. But uh, I think many of us might not. You definitely don't want to go that direction. It'd be a uh, very bad direction. Where the hell is this girl? I'm waiting out the DS, that's why I'm doing this, by the way. I don't really slug that much. Oh, hey. <laughs> Might as well go for now. Maybe. We'll see. Depends how much I want to humor this chest. Case in point about the footsteps and losing them. She was here though. <clears throat> I hear her. You hear her when when you're not in chairs. You don't hear them when you're in chairs. That's when they mute the sounds. Dead odd again, yep. Yeah. Reset and then drop. 
push her this way, she'll go to a trap. Million IQ, watch. She might have actually messed that up. If you don't have dead on, I get you. Yeah. You have dead on. So it's fine. <laughs> More towards my traps. More towards my 10 million IQ traps, what you only can do if you could hug. More towards them. Thank you. 10 million IQ. I knew you were going to be exactly in that position when you were there for some 10 million IQ hug. Yeah, I don't think hugs that difficult. Uh, Steve, thank you for the five months. Um, love the stream, Drew. It's all about probability with hug. You place X amount of traps around X amount of positions or, or choke, uh, choke holds. Um, that probability of them setting up a trap is very, very high. Oh, here we go. We might get a case of point of uh, wiggling off. Reaction time. I honestly just don't see it. But I got spoiled by fighters, man. Like, you know, that's way you have real crazy technical skill. Uh, YouTube volume seems a bit low. Yeah? Are you sure? You're the first person to say that. GG. Did we do our thing? One. Oh, okay. Okay, got you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 